and we are discussing about germ theory of disease also a little bit about it, I think so. Isn't it germ theory of disease we have studied? Germ that we know, the, all microbes are germs. All germs are microbes. All germs are microbes, but all microbes are not germs. We call it germs only when it causes disease or sufferings of the individual or any plants or animal. Let you know about that. But germ theory of diseases, it was not so simple at that time that germ is responsible for disease development. Disease of germ, but people had no idea that microbes were involved there. Many people started with this, starting from this Hieronymus Procrastorius, Italian physician, uh, then von Plensis. Actually, von Plensis is the actual person who, who was responsible for mutate this theory of germs causing disease in system, a living system. It was started with the animal first, animal means human being, then it was hmm, applied in case of plant system. Von Plensis, what he did? He, the every infectious disease was caused by invisible specific germ. That was the outcome, that was the comment made by these von Plensis. But he had no experimental evidence. That was his statement. But still we believe that that was the very, very important statement made by him without any scientific proof. But then the Athanasius Creed, are you correct? This is not Athanasius, Athanasius, AFA. Astial Mong, caused by invisible worms. He believed that this disease caused to the human system rather animal system, it was because of the worms. He did not um, identify the microbes or nothing, no experimental evidence, but he believed that worms are, were responsible for causing such types of suffering. See, uh, Louis Pasteur, last time also I think, oh, I have read this, the biography of this great person, is considered as the father of modern bacteriology, father of medical microbiology, you can say. Whatever medical science we have today, it was the initiation of Louis Pasteur actually in a different way. So, but the, he contributed many ways that already we have spelled all these things. The one of the important thing isolated bacterium causing pebrin disease of silkworm, anthrax disease of cattle. See, anthrax disease of cattle, this was the first disease reported that was caused by microorganism. It was started with animal only that microbes can cause germ or the disease. That was the anthrax disease of cattle. Then pebrin disease of silkworm, other disease came afterwards, but it was started with the anthrax disease of cattle. Not only Louis Pasteur, it was already started with other person also. This is Robert Cousy, we are going to discuss about him now after this slide. See, Robert Coates, so we have to know, we must know about this great person also. They are very, very, he was a physician actually by profession. What he did, <coughs> he established Coach Henley Postulates in 1882. Coach Henley Postulates, you have to remember, this is very, very important in science, in pathology, in microbiology, in biological science, in medical science, in veterinary science, in plant science. Where not? Everywhere it is very much important. Now, the, it is known as Coach Henley Postulate. Let us see other contribution he was making. Besides this, Coates Henley postulates in 1882, he isolated mycobacterium tuberculosis from tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is one of the dreaded human disease. Till fever is bad. Now we do not consider TB is so much dangerous disease to human being. But I tell you one thing, TB now coming up again. It now takes some alarming proportion. You have to know about that in you know, the drug resistance. Have you heard about the drug resistance? If I ask you what is the malady in medical science, very, very concerned about very dreaded disease, you will tell AIDS. AIDS because cancer, you can say cancer also. Because in these cases, we do not have much measure or means and ways by which you can prevent this disease or eradicate the disease when it is attacking particular person. But this is not the case. Case is drug resistance is the most important concern of today's world. Because what about drugs, medicine, antibiotics that are developed against particular disease, against particular pathogen? Problem is coming because of the resistance strain development by the microbes. You know, see, <coughs> we are um, developing microbes in the laboratory through genetic engineering. Manipulating genes, we are developing very, very efficient microbes which are beneficial to us. Similar way, whatever medicine or drugs that you are using, poison that you are using against particular pathogen, 
pathogens also not sitting idle. Naturally, they are developing certain resistant strain. They are developing certain amount of resistance in their body against those medicines that are using for years together. They are also having their own engineers, genetic engineer, whatever you call. Naturally, we are having, we are witnessing such types of strain nowadays available as, for example, mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is having resistance against the tracycline, that very antibiotic that is used against anti uh, this particular pathogen, which are very much uh, effective, the tracycline. Now, the use of continuous antibiotics in a body, it leads to drug resistance. As soon as drug resistance that developed in your body system, you will die with a very simple flu. Because antibiotics, if it is established in your body against particular pathogen causing resistant mutant, then our body system will not, will not work against those antibiotics, which are drugs, life-saving drugs, as you say. So that is the concern of today's world, because we have to think of our thing about the strain which are now we can break this resistance of particular pathogen that are developing in nature. It is applicable in plant science also. Whatever variety that we have developed resistant earlier, the Sonalika variety very much resistant to wheat. That, that variety that we are developing in agricultural sector, now the same Sonalika variety having no use in agriculture because it lost its resistance power against wheat rust, that is particular fungus. So it is applicable in plant science as well as in animal science or including human system. So but anyway, the, it actually the microbacterium tuberculosis long before at that time, then people came to know this what way this particular malady or particular disease can be prevented. Because you know, unless and until you know the cause, we cannot do anything. Why you